Mo Norman was my friend, segment five. 1993, I gave Mo his first $1,000 in cash. I always paid Mo in cash. I performed approximately 20 clinics with Mo from 1993 to the end of 1995. I paid Mo $1,000 in cash for each of these. At an Illinois clinic, I took photos of Mo's optimum split hand grip chain. The back of the left hand and the club face always pointed in the same direction. Absolutely no knuckles on top of the grip. The right hand grip is taken in the lifeline of the right hand. The grip is pushed into the thumb pad. Absolutely not in the fingers. The grip is in line with the bottom of his right forearm. This creates a single axis between the shaft and his right forearm. This gave Mo a major mechanical advantage in returning the club face to square at impact. Here are Mo's hands and stance at his start position in the backstroke. His knuckles are not rotated on top of the grip. His hands are 12 inches into his backstroke. Mo is not set up closed. His shoulders have already rotated due to his backstroke start position. Mo started the downstroke with what he called buckle, sit, and slide. Mo said that he practiced this movement for an hour a day for two years when he started learning golf. Buckle is the moving of his right arm backward and downward with his right palm facing the sky. Sit and slide is moving into his knees with the left knee moving directly over his left big toe. When he sat down at the first move in his downstroke, his body automatically shifted to the left. This was his sit and slide sensation. Mo had a sensation that he was making a very wide arc on his backstroke. If you make a scientific observation, you will see that he, he is moving his arm substantially more than his body. Mo's actual movement was to pull his right elbow straight back while the left arm made the motion he is describing. One of Mo's more famous quotes was, you hit balls, not tees. Here is a photo of him sweeping the ball off of a tee. Segment six will follow soon.